Hi all, welcome to School Math. Now we will talk about the 10th standard of the entire math syllabus. This will be a handy document which can be used during exam preparation. First, real numbers. Real numbers like Euclid's division lemma in a saladana A equal to B Q plus R. A and B integer are any integer are it can be represented as A equal to B Q plus R, where Q and R are also integer and R is between 0 and B. At the relation between HCF and LCM of two integer. HCF of A comma B into LCM of A comma B equal to A into B. This is applicable only to two integer. More than two integer, this will not be applicable. Add the polynomial. Polynomial is linear polynomial which is in the form of P of X equal to AX plus B. This is zero of the polynomial equal to minus B by A. At the quadratic polynomial which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Quadratic polynomial there will be two zeros. So sum of zeros one the minus b by a and product of zeros one the c by a. At the cubic polynomial which is in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Is, there will be three zeros. So sum of zeros one the minus b by a. And product of zeros one the minus d by a. And sum of product of zeros is c by a. Add the division algorithm. This is nothing but p of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. Where p of x is the dividend, g of x is the divisor, q of x is the quotient and r of x is the remainder. At the algebraic identities. A plus B the whole square equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. A minus B the whole square equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. X plus A into X plus B equal to X square plus A plus B into X plus AB. A square minus B square equal to A plus B into A minus B. A cube minus B cube equal to A minus B into A square plus A B plus B square. A cube plus B cube equal to A plus B into A square minus A B plus B square. A plus B the whole cube equal to A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square plus B cube. A minus B the whole cube equal to A cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square minus B cube. Then pair of linear equation. Two linear equation here. Now the ratio of the coefficient and the linear lines of the properties you relate. If A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2 it will be consistent. It will have one solution. And the two lines will intersect. If A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and it is not equal to C1 by C2, it will be inconsistent. It will have no solution and the lines are parallel. And if A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2 equal to C1 by C2, it is dependent. It will have infinite solution and the two lines will coincident. Quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. The quadratic formula to find the value of x is x equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Here b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant of quadratic equation. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then it will have two equal roots minus b by 2a or minus b by 2a. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then it will have two distinct roots, which is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then there will be no real roots. Next, arithmetic progression will important terms. A is the first term. D na common difference. L is the last term. 
an is the nth term and sn is the sum of first n terms. D is equal to a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 or a4 minus a3 or ak plus 1 minus ak. To find the nth term of an AP, an equal to a plus n minus 1d. Sum of n terms sn equal to n by 2 into a plus a of n or n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. A of n also can be found through Sn minus Sn minus 1. The sum of first n positive integers Sn equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Triangles. If two triangles are similar, then area of ABC divided by area of PQR is equal to AB by PQ the whole square BC by QR the whole square, CA by RP the whole square. Similarity criteria. Angle, 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 side, 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 angle, side and angle, side, angle. Pythagoras theorem. AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Coordinate geometry. Distance formula, root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Here x1 i1 and x2 y2 are the end point coordinates. Section formula, x equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 and y equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. Here x1, y1, x2, y2 are the endpoint coordinates. m1 and m2 are the ratio in which the point x, y divides the line. Area of the triangle when their vertices coordinates are known. It's equal to half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. To find the midpoint x equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Then trigonometry. Trigonometric ratios. Sin a equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos a equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Tan a equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Tan a is also can be written as sin a divided by cos a. Cosecant a equal to 1 by sin a. Secant a equal to 1 by cos a. Cot a equal to 1 by tan a. Trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Sin 90 minus a is cos a. Cos 90 minus a is sin a. Tan 90 minus a is cot a. Cosecant 90 minus a is secant a. Secant 90 minus a is cosecant a. And cot 90 minus a is tan a. Trigonometric identities. Sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. 1 plus tan square a equal to secant square a. 1 plus cot square a equal to cosecant square a. Then these are few of the sign values for particular angles. For example, sine of 0 is 0. And sin of 90 is 1, sin of 45 is 1 by root 2. Similarly, cos of 90 is 0. These are the trigonometric ratios for specified angles. Then areas related to circle. Perimeter of a circle is pi into diameter. That is 2 pi r. Area is pi r square. Area of the sector of angle theta is theta divided by 360 degree into pi r square. Area of the segment APB is theta divided by 360 degree into pi r square minus area of the triangle AOB. Area of the major sector is pi r square minus area of the minor sector. And area of the major segment is pi r square minus area of the minor segment. 
then surface area and volume for few object rectangle area is l into b perimeter is 2 into l plus b diagonal is root of l square plus b square square area is side into side that is half diagonal square perimeter is 4 into side diagonal is root 2 side triangle area equal to half into base into height semicircle perimeter is pi r plus d area is half pi r square cuboid curved surface area is 2h into l plus b total surface area is 2 into lb plus bh plus lh volume is lbh cylinder curved surface area is 2 pi r h total surface area is 2 pi r into h plus r volume equal to pi r square h cube curved surface area is 4 a square total surface area is 6 a square volume is a cube sphere curved surface area as well as total surface area is 4 pi r square volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube hemisphere curved surface area is 2 pi r square total surface area is 3 pi r square volume is 2 by 3 pi r cube cone curved surface area is pi r l total surface area is pi r into l plus r slant height is root of r square plus h square volume is 1 by 2 pi r square h next one is frustum volume of the frustum of a cone is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 curved surface area of the frustum is pi into r1 plus r2 into l where l is the root of h square plus r1 minus r2 the whole square total surface area of the frustum is pi into r1 plus r2 into l plus pi r1 square plus pi r2 square statistics mean mean can be found through three methods first direct method one sigma i equal to 1 to n fi xi divided by sigma i equal to 1 to n fi by assumed mean method mean equal to a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean and d1 is di is the deviation of xi from assumed mean then by step deviation method mean equal to a plus h into sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi where ui is equal to xi minus a divided by h where h is the common divisor for xi minus a nama endha oru divisor eduthukadala then mode mode equal to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h where l is the lower limit of the modal class h is the size of the class interval f1 is the frequency of the modal class f0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class and f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class Median equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into H. Where L is the lower limit of the median class. N is the number of observation. CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. F is the frequency of the median class and H is the class size. Probability of E equal to number of outcomes favorable to E divided by number of all possible outcomes where E is an event. Let E and F be the E elementary events of an experiment. Then P of E plus P of F is equal to 1. The sum of probability of all the elementary events of an experiment is 1. Hope it is useful to you in order to give a quick 15 minutes recap before the examination time. Thank you.